What's up everyone, it's Trainer Della, and in this video I have for you some CGC returns. So happy to get some of these cards back. Um, basically, out of the blue, it's been there for like, ever, like five, six months. Um, I saw the next step, like, you know, getting ready for grading. I was so happy, and then within like two weeks, I got more than half of my bulk submission back in. Um, this one has subgrades, and then the other ones will have subgrades coming in. This one was like by itself, so <laughs> it came in first. Looked at it, enjoyed it. I'll <clears throat> leave that for last. And uh, we got all this to look forward to. <laughs> um, this is mainly the ones without subgrades. And there's 31 in here. There's That's the 32nd one, the one that came in first. And uh, yeah, just cannot wait for the next um, shipment, like th those subgrade ones. Uh, overall, I didn't think I, I had like good grades on my cards. I, I Well, not... To be fair, I said a lot of like nines and eights to like six and sevens. Um, but let's see. Let's see what they are. I can't remember from the top of my head. You can go back to the older video and see what I said back then. But we're just going to go into it. <laughs> I don't really feel like like flipping it or hiding the grade. Let's go right to it. And ooh -hoo -hoo, starting off. Oh, almost dropped that. Superior. Fates Collide Reverse Hollow. A nine. Man, that is nice to look at. Basically one of the last decks I played in that era, like taking to locals. It was such a fun deck. Superior, one of my top five favorite Pokemon along with Snivy, like <laughs> that evolution. Ooh, ooh, just an eight. I, I think I said that these might be seven eights because it is so hard to grade. That hollow pattern and everything and oh man. Just looking at that eight. We got another eight. Oh, all right. I guess it's consistent. They kind of were like almost the same ish condition. Um, I don't think one was really that much better than the other. So, you know, that's fine. Um, I was always hoping one would get a little higher grade with some of the doubles I sent in. Um, but either way, we'll see what I do with the doubles. Either I do giveaways on the channel or whatnot. Oh, an 8.5 on this base superior from Black and White. This was cool. Two two uh, leaf energies, grass energies for 60 damage and heal. I did play this deck when it came out in the, I think it was a starter deck. Played it for fun. All right, let's see here. Oh, Snivy, 7.5. Uh, I guess I don't know what would make it way lower. I mean, maybe some whitening. I'm not too sure. But, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they, they would know. They got that laser tech. I thought this would actually grade higher than, than these ones because I felt like these ones were a little higher to get. All right, I'm going to guess I'll move over. These, maybe down a bit. Uh, in case we get a 10. Oh, a 7. Oh, no. A 7. Where would it be bad at? I'm not sure. Like I said, I didn't get grades for this. Uh, I guess I'll just put this down here. All right. All right, moving right along. It is hot down here in SoCal. So I'm obviously going to have to take some breaks to drink water and stuff. Oh, an 8.5 on this Snivy. Oh, that's crazy. I would assume these would be harder to grade than uh than some than like the, <laughs> these ones, the legendary treasures. 8.5. I guess I'll put you right there. Next card. Oh, <laughs> Almond Knight. One of my favorite cards when I was younger. Such a sad, sad card. Eight. Point five, maybe it's just age, but I'm not too too sure. I thought this one looked pretty good, but like I said, these ones did not have subgrades, so these ones were just to be graded for fun. Let's go! Ooh, nine point five Pikachu. Uh, I believe I said if you watched that video uh, when I did the submission, this Pikachu was actually part of the blister pack that um i got the charizard in 
So that's cool. That's definitely going to go up there, 9.5. High grade right there. That makes me pretty happy. Oh, dang. And the more Peko right there. Look at that. That's nice. 9.5. More Peko. That's cool. Mo a little more modern cars. They oh, good cuts on those. And next up, oh, what's the 9.5 train coming along? Here's Marnie from Champions Path Reverse Hollow. I had to send in a Marnie, you know. 9.5. That's big. that's really good. That's really good. I mean, it's not like it's worth much, but for me, just to have a high grade is pretty cool. Oh, this is for Puddin right here. 9.5 for her. This Butterfree is a gift. Um, I think I said that we went to Frankenstein's and I looked through like a bunch of folders and stuff. And I, well, not like a bunch, but like a few folders. I went to different booths and I found what I believe was the best looking Butterfree, the best centered, the best looking, no scratches, nothing. So a 9.5, that's pretty, that's pretty good. That makes me pretty happy. You know, I'll put this one a little off to the side. We'll move it like this. Her Butterfree can be in the limelight. And uh, ooh, a 9 Keldeo. 9 Keldeo, one of my favorite legendaries alongside Ho-Oh. I just like this little unicorn bro. <laughs> I really enjoyed the movie he's in too. I think I, I talked about it before on the channel how... He was just talking trash to Kiram, but Kiram was like, nah, fool. <laughs> Don't talk that. Don't, you know, talk smack. We got a 9.5 Ho-Oh GX. <laughs> I was just talking about Ho-Oh being my other favorite legendary. And a 9.5 from the tins. This one actually put in bought me. We found a restock one time, and she bought me this. And I was like, oh, this actually looks pretty nice. I know GXs are kind of hard to center. But it did look nice, so I was like, you know what, yeah. That would be actually cool to grade, you know. Next up. Oh, some Charizards are showing up. Got a nine right here from Champions Path. I think I said it on the, when the submission video that basically none of my Charizards look good in any of my Champions Path ones. And then at Frank's, they had a little, little like... I don't know what you would call it. Just a little display or something with a bunch of these promos. And I looked through them and I grabbed this one. So glad it is a nine. Would have liked a little higher, but you know, Charizard's still pretty good. <laughs> the breaks in and Charizard right here. Charizard breaks in GX. Hold this one from the the deck. The battle deck. Nine, not too bad. So I'm hoping I guess this should be the Charizard Reshiram. Reshiram Charizard Reshizard. Oh, and it is. Rich's Heart also a 9. Oh, the centering, I think, is not that great. Look how thick that is up there. I mean, for modern cards, I thought these were cut really well, but, you know, it is. What it is, 9 is still not too bad. 9 is still not too bad. Oh, this one kind of hurt. Oh, this one kind of hurts a little bit, but a 7.5... Still pretty cool. I thought this reverse hollow Charmander was pretty good. I think I said it could even be a nine. So I I definitely think this one was, I did not think it was in bad condition, but you know, 7.5. Dragon Majesty reverse hollow Charmander. I got it at a good deal too. I remember that they were rising up in price and I got it at a pretty nice deal. Ooh, <laughs> all right. So I, I'm not gonna say nothing crazy. An eight's pretty good. This has this was just in one of my tins for years. I think I said that, and I think it soaked up some water or humidity or something because it was a it felt pretty thick. And you can kind of see like a little edge wear, a little little corner damage or right or whatever. How did this score higher than a more modern card? I thought this one was actually gonna be better than that one. Well, that goes to show what I know. Ooh, 8.5 Galade from Cosmic Eclipse. That's pretty cool. Galade being my second favorite Pokemon. 8.5. Right there. 
Ooh, Routes, Reverse Hollow, also from Cosmic Eclipse. That nine is so not centered, but it's all right. Oh, do, do I have another Ralts? I do not remember. Let's see here. Oh, no. This is a Squirtle from Legendary Collection and eight. Oh, an eight. I must have been wrong. I thought this, I think I also thought this one was going to be a nine. But an eight in a Squirtle, I'll definitely take it. So there should be some Squirtles in here, right? Because I should, yeah. Here's a, oh, a nine. Broken, unbroken bonds, reverse hollow. Dang, I don't, I guess maybe, maybe is the centering a little off? I like, I did link, I think it looks a little slanted. Hmm, nine, still not bad. Still not bad at all. We got a few more cards to go. Another Squirtle, 8.5 Squirtle from Plasma Storm. Man, this Squirtle's really cute though. Oh, try to straighten this one out. Just a few more to go. I think eight left. Eight left. Ooh, shiny Rowlet with the nine right here. That's pretty cool. Shiny Hidden Fates. Rowlet, I think this one is cuter, in my opinion, compared to the newer one. And next up, oh, 9.5 Froki. Oh, he's gonna be cut. He gets to get ninja colors when he, he gets all the way up. Oh, I never pulled that Greninja, it would've been really cool. But a 9.5 Froki, oh, that is nice. That looks really cool. So this should be Gibble. Should be Gibble. Oh, it took a little hit. That's kind of funny. 8.59, 9.5. Still a really cool card. Gibble, Gibble right there. Let's see, what's this one? Ooh, Wrench Challenge. I think this has definite centering issues. I think there's some like little scratches, honestly. But an 8.5. Man, I, would, I thought this would have been like a not. I don't know. I don't know what I give. I think I think there's two in here. <laughs> Another 8.5. All right. Both little 8.5s. They both had, from what I remember, a few little. Like, look at that corner. That one too. They had a few little things that I'm like, you know what? I don't think they're gonna be high, that high grade. Ooh, nine. Garchomp from Forbidden Light. Definitely want to send this in because of the Cynthia in the background. That looks really cool. A nine. Wow. Nice to get. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy, like, so far. A lot of grades have been really good. Um, we got one more in this box. And uh, it's another superior. I Yeah, I thought I sent in two. I guess this one <laughs> was just back here. An 8.5, where was the other one? Was it an eight? I can't remember. 8.5, it, it could just be somewhere in there. Was it a nine? Was it like the first one? Yeah, it was the first, it was the first nine. Okay, so we have a higher grade. So yeah, honestly, pretty happy with my grading experience. Um, just, it took forever and I understand it got impacted. PSA at one point shut down basically. More people were sending to CGC to grade and everything. I liked it. I think the number one reason was because I wanted to grade this card. I think if I had sent it to PSA or whatever, I mean, if I had sent this all to PSA, I probably wouldn't even see these for like until like the end of the year, if not next year, you know? That's how bad it's been at PSA for their bulk submissions. But um, I thought it would have something back here like Hollow Bleed, but maybe they just didn't, um, they don't need to put it on there anymore or you know with how long it takes to even do this all all the cards and everything and grading i didn't need to print out a crazy label but i've already seen this one i'm pretty happy with it it is my Gallade hollow bleed 8.5 it's an 8.5 got this with um the subgrades and the next submission should come in all with subgrades so I definitely didn't want to hold this off for the next one. I like that little spiral right there. Pretty cool. 
delayed. I said I got a few of these and this was the best looking one out of all of them. And then I just, I don't know why people started putting these prices super high. I don't think it was that great. Um, I'm a Glade fan, my second favorite Pokemon. Um, so for me, I definitely wanted to have one with, with the hollow bleed, the foil bleed, um, and graded correctly because, um, yeah, that's considered surface damage, or at least it was because I've kind of seen a few foil bleeds now grade correctly at PSA that have been coming out. So I'm not too upset that I didn't go with PSA. I, I, I actually like the CGC slab. In all honesty, you kind of see like the, the blue kind of like shines right there. I like the clearness. I like, I kind of like that the CGC logo. And I'm, a, you know, I'll just put that up here. I like Cyclops. I'm a comic book fan. So maybe get some X Men comics and it'll kind of look good all together because it'll all look with these slabs and whatnot. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know um, if you guys have graded anything, if you're waiting on it, or if you got them back. If you, thought they grade as well as you think they did because I think honestly I think I was in the ballpark for most of the cards that I said and then they got the grades that I felt like they should have been um I think the Charmanders were weird and this Snivy is seven I don't know gives us maybe there's a scratch I just I can't see um but at the same time like very very consistent nice cards a lot of this is modern stuff and as you can see like I believe 8.5 and up are basically near mint like bgs like you know the 8.5 gets that silver logo thing so i do consider an 8.5 like eights are still pretty to me mint, like near mint i think these are near mint obviously and up um i just think anything below like, like eight is like that that like wishy-washy level and then anything below that is you know light played and, and so on so i'm actually very happy that a lot of cards in my collection a lot of cards that i had we're not that bad of condition. I know I have way worse cards, and those ones won't be submitted um, because they are not in good condition. Those are just in my personal collection. But to have these are pretty cool. So be on the lookout. Some of these might be in giveaways. Some of my some of these might go on eBay. I'm not too sure still, but um, I definitely cannot wait to get the other submission in. So be on the lookout for that. And one way you can do that is stay subscribed or be subscribed, um, like the video if you like it, and. Still trying to hit that thousand subscriber mile uh, milestone, and when we hit that, then big giveaway, big big giveaway. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. All right, peace.